Greetings one and all, my name is Lancer and welcome back once again to Data Live. We'll be watching episode 8 of season 3 today and last time on, Origami is a spirit now. She's become the very thing she swore to destroy. And now she is confronting Kurami. What could she possibly hope to gain by confronting an enemy of hers? Only one way to find out, we just have to get right into the episode. I don't know why I went all ASMR mode there. Probably not that hard. That's exactly my first time tracking one of you down. I didn't kill her. I held back. Mm-hmm. And what brings you here now? I'm gonna assume Could have killed her. Come by for a tea party. Yeah, well, I guess there's no OP this episode. Each and every one of those 12 dials has a different kind of power. So my question is, of the 12, does one have a bullet that'll send someone to the past? Just out of curiosity. Mm, possibly. Actually suggesting that I use Youth Bet for your sake? You'd bet. I hate disappointing people, you know? You may be blessed with incredible power, but it means nothing if you can't hit me. Mm-hmm. Does she have to use that? What if she's just like, yeah, sure, I'll use it. Pfft. I want to go to August 3rd, five years ago. I have to try and fix it so that my mom and dad's deaths never happened. I'll change history. If you'll help me. How much would that change? I was a little nervous about using the youth bet without having tested it out on anyone first. So I guess I can just use you as my guinea pig since you asked so nicely. Mm -hmm. Seriously? She's blushing. <laughs> Never gets old. Go find out for me, little pig. <sighs> see how foolish it actually is to try and change the world, and whether or not God permits it. So you'd bet it's twelve o'clock. I need to learn like all the because like I know there's Aleph, Dalit. You'd bet. And then the others. <laughs> Episode 8, Demon King of Descending Darkness. Kinswoman, the forbidden fruit before we get a piece, are you? <laughs> Complaint. It would appear. What? Do you two want anything? No, oh, precious. Is that Yoshino's phone? Oh, yeah, they're dying in air. <laughs> in the air. Cheeto? Oh, God. I swear. It's okay, you filthy pervert! Gross! I can't believe you had the guts to do perverted things. <laughs> So why did you do it to me? The call's already cancelled at this point. Oh, sing with us, sing for the year. Time to find Phantom. As she's known as at this point. Finally, I found you! Metatron! We're getting this already, huh? I should have known. I should have known from this point. Just look at her design. It's cool that I have it on video. If you go back to my season four reactions, the exact moment when I make the connection that Reyna is origin. <laughs> Wait. I might be connected some dots. <laughs> Shit. Someone her powers like that. Her Careful where you're shooting those. Whatever the future me has done, it seems she's earned quite the grudge from you, hasn't she? But I'm afraid I can't let you kill me here today. I have a wish that I have to make come true. Just uh, like wish. Screw you! Screw you! Screw you! Now nah, just say fuck you. <laughs> I know why emotions change going later, but I kind of wish in season five we had a little scene between Origami and Origin. You know, they have history. <laughs> Even though it's all set in the... We'll get there when we get there. Tough oh, shit. Oh, well. That was truly magnificent. Orbital laser. My goal for the day. Your goal, huh? Yes, I saved them. Mm. So her goal at this point, that was what? Giving Coterie the power? No. Oh, I love the music cut. Self-fulfilling prophecy. It happened just like before. I couldn't stop it. I'll never forgive you. I'll kill you. <laughs> I swear that I will. Someday, I'm gonna kill you! Ah! 
Well, there it was. Who really killed Origami's parents? Origami did. It's an interesting twist. I mean, that's, I mean, we're delving into time travel stuff now, which I'm surprised that didn't fuck up Origami more. I mean, granted, right, we still have, still got four episodes left of this arc, but yeah, that's, it's a pretty good twist. The thing is, Origami. Yeah, there's uh, been some developments. I didn't predict this, though. I guess that makes sense. I mean, who would have thought that she would become a spirit? <laughs> it seems like her reaction suddenly vanished. Do you think it's possible she could have spirit wave suppression powers? Is that what she quite thinking? literally She's vanished? She might actually be watching over us right now as we speak. Is it possible that Origami was able to achieve her goal in the end? Because really, if I'm being perfectly honest, in a way, I truly hope that she's able to make that wish come true. Well, yeah, because if she succeeds, then she knows that she can succeed too. Sometimes I just happen to be in a more charitable mood than others. Oh, what the fuck? The Munusi. What is this? A spirit, but I don't really get it. Oh, right. He, she inverted. She inverted and came back. Help me out, okay? It's fucking infinite Zamasu, bruh. Just destroying the planet. Oh, I love her halo. Became a spirit and inverted in the same day. If there's one person in this world who can bring her back, that person is you, Shido. Mm hmm. I don't know if she could be saved at this point. I was ready to toss you clean through the freaking sky. The freaking sky. Please go to her and open up her eyes however you can. Just go up to her and go, wake up. I think I'll use my credit card. Look up! I guess I might as well help out too since I'm here. After all, this debris won't be dangerous if I turn it into cotton balls. What if you just turn her outfit into a, a plushie again? I'll lead us and open up the way. Hajime Masho. I don't like how confident everybody is right now. Praise. You're pretty good at this. I appreciate that. Bro just learned how to fly. Ah, uh, inverted Metatron. Let's go. Oh, I think not. <laughs> ah, shit. Children meddling with the inverse. It's a pleasure to see you again, Shido Itsuka. Well, the feeling sure as hell isn't mutual. Can I have my heart back? She's comparable even to Princess back in the day. Back in the day of a couple months ago? Screw you! We're not about to let you take origami! Barking at me like some <laughs> stupid dog isn't going to accomplish anything here, you know. <laughs> Response! Everybody's going Dragon Ball mode right now. Just scream it. Shido, can you hear me? God, her eyes. I like that she's, like, blue now. Oh my god. She's a zombie. And he's dead. Shit. So we'll go ahead and try sending you over to Oreg. Um. Uh, Yeah, I think you're up, Kurami. <laughs> Could it really be possible that the great Shido has completely forgotten what my personal goal <laughs> The great Shido. I can't be expected to let an opportunity like this slip away. <laughs> what is she talking about, though? That one's hopeless, though. Nobody's voice is going to reach Origami as she is right now. And by that, I do mean no one, including you, my friend. Friend? <laughs> it's about that time, Zaf Kiel. Let's get this party started, shall we? <laughs> uh, cute bet. You're mine now, no matter what you try. <gasps> yeah, go fix this, please. I don't know about you, but I think our date is long overdue. God <gasps> should make my sh Welcome back, I guess. What year does this take place in? In the present time. And I want to say like 2011 or something like that, just because that's when the novel first came out. Uh, hi. How exactly is it that you know my name? What? Hold on. What are you talking about? Oh, wait. Are you actually trying to hit on me? <laughs> yeah, that's very flattering, but I kind of need God to damn it. Now. That's such a random encounter. <laughs> Don't waste your time looking. You 
won't find me where you are. I'm in a different time than you now. What are you talking about? I sent you hurtling back to Tengu City as it existed five years ago. Hmm. Five years ago? Time travel. Time is the only way to reverse the disaster that's unfolding in the present is to deal with the younger origami you'll find in the past. The one that got left behind. You're telling me origami asked for your help to go back five years and kill Phantom? Yeah, that's exactly it. <laughs> what happened to her when she came here? Believe it or not, that's something even I don't know. It's your job to find out. And then it's your job to reverse it. Why would you have used your angel for someone else to begin with? I know, right? It's not like her. The simplest answer is that I want proof. Proof that it is somehow possible for history to be changed. <laughs> she knows that she's becoming the thing she hates, yet she trudges on, crossing time, defying God. In the end, where will that road lead her? Where will it lead her indeed, Reyna? Well, that was episode 8 of season 3 of Data Live. Oh, man. I loved her voice there. That really sounded like like her being, I guess, serious? Or I guess genuine, I should say. You know, dropping that whole, like, ara ara facade. But yeah, just that whole thing of, like, why would you just using it for someone else? I mean, she's had, like, a bunch of different copies of herself. I don't know why she wouldn't test it on just one of hers, but... I mean, that's been the whole point of, like, her killing people, though, is, like, she's saving up time. Because, obviously, that's a very expensive technique which she was able to use twice back to back, to be fair. Now, Shido's our Marty McFly. Gotta go back in time to fix what has been done. It's interesting, though, to think what actually happens, because, I mean, we saw when she went back, like, she fulfilled her own prophecy in a way, but in her own way, she may have fixed it. But who's to say she didn't go back again and then undo it? I don't know why I'm genuinely trying to talk about, like, I don't know. I kind of do not know, because it's been a while, and I forget, like, those specific little details. Oh, this is such a good arc, man. I It's the, like, halted character development that Origami needed to be continued. Again, like, we had so much in Season 1, and Season 2, she got like basically nothing and now here we are season three it's satisfying at the same time as it is sad but hey that is the balance that is data live but either way this is my reaction to episode eight of season three of data live join me next time for episode nine as well as everything else will be coming out soon so until next time i'm lancer thanks for watching